Hello and welcome everyone! I fixed the problem, and here we are in, I just figured out the name, New Spudland. Because, you know, we give a lot of love to rip-offs of the name Vooper, but we don't give enough love to the potatoes. So New Spudland is going to be home of the wintry potatoes, and whoever else wishes to live there. Wow, what a beautiful land. So, I told everyone before, I really missed Las Vuparas and building smaller, like, individual cities all linked together. So today we're going to be making a new city, New Sputland, in this beautiful island map. Hopefully it goes fantastically. Um, nothing could possibly go wrong. So, oh my god, that's really loud. As always, we're going to focus on uh, trying not to get the traffic too poorly from the get-go. So, um, we're going to actually do, we're going to do 10 and 3, and then we're going to do 3, and we're just going to separate these roads out. We don't want them too close together to start because then we won't have enough room to modify them in the future. Well, let's get a really basic area set up here. Um, oh, there's so much to do. I love making new cities for this reason. There's, there's just so many things that you can do. So I want to create a kind of neat... Uh, traffic structure for this city. And I know I, I always say that. And I, I rarely ever actually hold up with that. But, if you guys just trust me a little bit, I've got plans. Okay, 41. 41. We can do this. And we can have it wrap around like this. And I'm trying to keep it artistic and symmetrical. And do this. And then... We're actually going to switch this to one way. Now we have a way to go all the way around. And finally, we can go ahead and connect this so that we can get onto these back highways rather easily. How far is that out? Uh, 13. Oh, I think I missed. Yeah, I think I've lost all my viewers because of Twitch's issues, which is, or not Twitch's, uh, City Skylines issues, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. And here we go. The beginning of a beautiful new city. Um, trying to make things look good as we start. Maybe a little bit of a waste of space, but at least it's an easy way to get over onto the highway from both sides and back into this area and let's actually start uh, designing the city now oh shoot we already have these oh what am I doing this should totally be this with a turning lane so that they can oh I guess there isn't really much of a uh, reason actually to have a turning lane well these guys have a reason these guys will have a reason. No, they just they just don't have a reason to have a turning lane. So I guess we'll just do normal here because they just go back. These guys actually need to turn left. These guys can't turn right. Fun facts with Spike. Uh, I think that looks good. Oh, I don't like it looking different, though. We'll just do that. Boop. There we go. Okay. So, next up, what we're going to do is actually create some area for housing. 
Well, this is gonna be a beautiful little city. Who here is mad at the Yams for taking down the stream? Yes, that is precisely what happened. The Yams took it down. They were angry that the Potatoes got another city named after them. Okay, so let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and get some basic uh, roads set up. Some basic area for people to live. Um, we're gonna go like this. And this. And this. Bam. And let's get the coast. Some very nice coastal property. I'm sure that people will line up to get some of it before it's all taken up. There we go. Very nice. And it also gives us an easy way to get the water where we need it to go without wasting money. Let's go ahead and get some water. We'll do it from the other side of the river so the noise isn't an issue. And then we will dump the sewage all the way over here. Great, we're not gonna run out of money, which is good. We're gonna put one turbine here and another turbine here. We're actually going to use this turbine to power the town. We'll put the power lines right next to these peep, uh, the bridge here, just to be a little bit more pretty. And we'll bring it down the side of this highway. There we go. Very nice. Use heated pipes. Oh, you're right. I haven't unlocked them yet, though. <laughs> Have not unlocked them. Okay, so right when you come into the town, we'll make it so that you come into some nice commercial area, all the touristy bits, all that fun stuff. Then when you go a bit further down, you will have the residential area. Everyone very happy and healthy by the lake slash river. I guess it's it's a, either a lot of little rivers or one big lake. I'm not sure. <laughs> or the ocean. I, I don't really know what this map is. Um, so we'll do that. And how about we get a little bit creative in the center here. I'm going to create a roundabout. Which I'm going to build the rest of this off of. We'll have a park in the center. And to get to work, people will simply have to go over to the roundabout. Oh, we're out of money. Okay. We will start zoning now then. Ignore the fact that they aren't actually connected to anything. We don't have our residential zone yet, but it'll be here soon, I promise. <laughs> it's okay, people will move in. Hopefully. If nobody moved in, that wouldn't be good. But there's definitely ways to get in, so... Why is nobody moving in? Hello? Hello, citizens. I am Spike. I will give you... Oh, there they go. There we go. Very, very nice. I think that we've got some people moving in. Yep, we do. And that should get us some money. Actually, we're going to hit the milestone of 340. Then we'll get a nice boost in cash. Very fun. Oh, this beautiful center of the city. Uh, I, I don't have enough money to actually make it work. Oh, come on. We just need to get a few more people. We just can't have them moving out on us. Why are there electrical pro... Oh, it doesn't connect all the way. Oh, we just need more people to move in. I'm sure this won't be a massive issue. 
Oh, actually, I am actually sure it won't be a massive issue. Because I can do that. <laughs> Yay! Magical skills. I can just have the workers move it. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and zone this so that these actually connect. Okay, we're actually making money now. Making money is good. It's gonna keep bringing the electric back and forth between each group. <laughs> Everyone needs the electric. We're just unplugging, plugging. Okay, you can use your microwave now. Okay, now the commercial business can use their fridge. Gotta go back and forth. This is a little bit ridiculous. Just a tiny bit. So that this series doesn't yeet itself immediately, we're just going to jack up the residential demand to force us to get a little... Oh, they built their house there. Great. I know, cheating already. I've been streaming too long, though. <laughs> I don't want to have to do this for another, like, 18 hours. Okay, okay. The population is going to hit... The goal, there we go, we get a lot of money, healthcare, all those great things we have to pay attention to now. Now that we have the money, we can stop cheating, and we can actually build the industrial area and fix the electrical grid. Okay, fantastic, electric grid fixed, and just a little bit of redundancy, there we go. Now we can build some industry. which is a very important part of a city. Makes a lot of money as well. Our magical massive roundabout here is going to be responsible for a lot of people. We're gonna have something run under here, fill up this area. Okay, massive roundabout, let's do it. Oh, actually not quite that far so we're gonna go like up to here with the residential and we're gonna have a small strip of commercial and then we'll have some factories now notice that I'm not zoning the roundabout itself it may be a waste of space but it'll keep the traffic from getting too terrible the nice thing about having the industry around the roundabout like that is that they can really get their freight pretty much anywhere. And of course, since it's a roundabout, it actually does have to be a one directional road or it's not going to work very well. There we go. Very nice. We can actually make all of this here industrial. It's gonna be like an industrial park. It's right by the highway as well, so that's not actually an issue. And you know what? We'll fill all of this area up with industrial. And I will not feel bad about it at all. Because there's nobody nearby. There we go, right under the highway. That's actually a great way to tuck some industrial away. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get all of this hooked up. There we go, we're out of money. Uh, but now we should get some very quick growth and happy citizens. Yes, and look at that, they're using the roundabout. So exciting. 
Although the roundabout seems to have stop signs, which is not how a... Or traffic lights, actually. That's even worse. That's not how that's supposed to work. Instead, we can go to the junction editor and just... Uh, that's not the one I want. We want them to yield. 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 Okay, fantastic. Okay, so now they should yield, uh, and that means that the roundabout should work like any roundabout in the real world. Well. Oh, and, um... Plan for cheap electricity is take the electricity we're already making. Plug it in. Bam. Look at that. That fixed a lot of it, but not all of it. It's okay. Only 6,000, and then we can get a lot more electrical production. It's always a little bit of a struggle to get a brand new city running, but we do it a lot. Thankfully, I still suck at it, so it's still entertaining. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. A lot more electrical production. Everyone is looking very happy. Very, very happy. Okay, fantastic. Um... One more thing is that there is a ton of residential demand. So we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna use these really tiny basic roads. We're gonna make this really cute, this city. We're gonna try to be as efficient as possible and try to make things look good at the same time, which kind of is a catch 22, but you know, we try our best. Come on, come on, there we go. And now over here, we can squeeze in a little bit more residential. Nice. I think the medians honestly look nice. Um, just kind of homey. Unfortunately, we don't have the ones with trees yet, but we will soon. Look at that. And now we're a worthy village. Now it's time to worry about fire and healthcare and all of these important things. And look at this. The circle is going to have an absolute monopoly on emergency services. The central circle, basically nobody uses these uh, center lanes anyways, which means that they're probably not gonna have any traffic issues either. Who am I kidding? They'll have some traffic issues, but that's just because it's my series. There we go. Okay, so these guys... ...can easily send uh, emergency equipment out to anywhere in the city. Same thing with the police station once we can afford it. Very neat. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Let's jack up the electricity budget. Ooh, an earthquake with intensity 7.3. That means that I have the gameplay random disaster frequency all the way up. Let's turn that off. Ah! Ah! This is a bad way to start! This is a bad way to start. Oh, jeez. Well, hashtag new city problems. <laughs> um, I guess that's okay. This will be like a monument or something in the future, I guess. Let's quickly fix everything that was just destroyed. Uh, that could have been much worse, honestly. It didn't really do any damage to anything that isn't fixable. Um, if that hit, like, in the center of the city, that would have been really painful. I would have been really annoyed. <laughs> okay, okay. Looking good. 
slight issues with the water because it broke the entire water grid. But, you know, normal things. Normal issues when you first move into a city. There's always the chance that there will be a massive earthquake. I mean, California does exist. Oh, I really like this. I really like the uh, being able to... This, this looks very nice here. Okay, and look at that. They're actually properly using the uh, lanes and stuff. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so now that that's all set up, uh, one more thing I need to do. Uh, garbage in industry. There should be a snow pile or something I can build. Snow. Snow handling. Under road. Roads. Ah, uh, snow dump. Yes. Snow dump is important. Uh, snow dump will... I don't really want the snow dump to be over there because it's so ugly. I don't want it to be in this center area, but... I guess it is pretty important. I may actually plop it right here. I don't know. Um, let's put it over here with this industry. I don't want it over in the pretty part of town. Same with the trash. I I want to separate that stuff out. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and plop down a police station to fix our crime issues. Look at them go. Sending out the popo. No traffic in the way because hashtag perfect traffic with an 87% flow. Okay, I am pretty happy. So guys, that's it. That's going to be the first episode of uh, New Spudland. Hopefully the potatoes can start a new life here after Las Vuparis was ripped away. It's not their usual climate, but you know, there's always hope. There's always hope that we can rebuild better than ever before in a beautiful new land. And with that, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the idea of just having a normal Chill City Skyline series again. Say so in the comments. If you hate it, let me know. I'll cry. But it's important you let me know because I'm your friend. And together, we are Vuperians. Peace out. Love all of you. Go Potatoes. That's odd, my stream deck isn't working.